Rock Stars, here con Andreas, your guitar sage here. Today we're gonna learn how to play Beat It. You're gonna have a blast with this one, my friends. This is super fun. Um, guitars done by Steve Lukather and um, well, somebody else I forgot. You can let me know in the notes. Um, but nonetheless, Eddie Van Halen, obviously, did the guitar solo. Uh, but the backing tracks as well. So here we go. We're going to get into this lesson is going to be just on the rhythm part. And then if you want to know more about the solo part, you'll, you'll see a link somewhere uh, associated to this. Okay. So here we go. This is super fun. It's tuned to D sharp, right? So we got this. That's our E, right? Just tuned down a half step. You want to make sure that you do that. Otherwise, it's not going to sound very good. Okay. So you're going to tune to that, assuming you've done that already, or here you go. Tune your low E string to that note and then to the rest of the strings accordingly. If you don't know how to do that, take advantage of my free course, yourguitarsage.com slash 30. I'll show you how to do that. Otherwise, you know what you're doing and here we go, okay? So here's the first lick, okay? Really, we've got this main lick and then we have the fun little that part and then we have the verse and then we got the solo. That's really it. There's also a part where they just kind of uh, flank away on a on the, the low E string. Uh, so we'll talk about that as well. Okay, so here we go. So the first lick. Let's talk about that. So low E, we got 0, 3. First two notes, zero and three on low E. And then on the A string or the fifth string, we got second fret, fifth fret on the fourth string, five and two. And then we have a hammer, a very quick hammer from two to four. So basically, you're picking on two, but you're hammering four. So instead of it's at least that's what I'm hearing. I could be wrong at that, but that's what I'm hearing. So slide, I'll use my second finger and I'll slide up like, okay, just a little feel thing that I do, but I believe that I'm hearing that. And if you're wondering why, if you're saying, well, you're a guitar teacher, you should know that. No, I'm fallible human. And so we use our ears to do this. So I'm just as fallible as you, but that's what I'm hearing. Okay. So. So, we're going to end, we're going to come back to the two, so after the hammer from two to four, you're going to go to the two again, and then five, five on the fifth string. Now, it's important to note that every other time, it's just going to, it's just going to do it one time instead of two times, so instead of twice, second time, one time, okay? Every single time it does that. So very important because I've seen bands play this and one guy will be doing it twice, another guy will be doing it once. You don't want to do that, okay? So it's two and one, two and one every single time. So here's how the lick should sound, nice and slow. I'll even do it slower. Cool. Uh, it's just in that nice minor sound, okay? Now, Another guitar kicks in right after the main lick here. It sounds something like this. 
Now there's a couple different ways you can play this, but the way that I like and the way that I think sounds best is to keep it on strings three and four, okay? You might find some other interpretations of it. I know I've seen different interpretations of it, but this is the one that I think sounds the best. You know, you choose different strings, they're gonna give you different sounds. So, this is what I'm hearing. And this, remember, this is all on strings three and four, and you're gonna start this on, it goes from 12, to nine. It's a double stop. A double stops when you play two notes at a time. And so I'm using my pinky here and I go to my first finger like this. Okay, so I'm literally playing three and four at the twelfth fret and then the ninth fret. We'll talk about the rhythm in a minute. And then the second part, you're going to, instead of 12-12, twelve, twelve, you're going to play 11-12. So first finger, second finger, and then seventh fret barred. Same thing, all strings three and four. So. I like to give that a little, a little shake as well. And then we got that nice little rhythm. Okay, and that guitar is really not overdriven as much as what you're hearing here right now. I should probably cut it back a little bit. Okay, a lot of times people will put way too much overdrive when it comes to a song like this and just doesn't really call for it, except for that solo. Okay, so. The rhythm part is just a, an alternate picking. Uh, use your ear on this. We're not going to break it down to the specific rhythms. You can hear what I'm doing here. Easy enough. Okay, so now the verse is literally just strings four and five, unless you want to add that extra octave for the power chord, uh, which... Power chords, if you need to know more about that here on YouTube, search power chords, your guitar sage, or your guitar sage power chords. Otherwise, this is what a power chord looks like. Here on strings four and five, you've got your first finger on the seventh fret, your third finger on the ninth fret. Uh, so first finger, seventh fret, fifth string, third finger, ninth fret, fourth string. And it should look like this. And when I'm playing this, I'm just striking strings five and four, and I'm muting the other strings with my hand, okay? So the verse goes. the tone that I'm using here, you just need some overdrive. You can hear that I've got some nice reverb on there. Not as much as I have during the solo and not as much overdrive as I have during the solo, but this is the basic verse part. Okay, so here we go through the verse one time. Second go around. So I'm going to show you that part. Now this 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 uh, it's not quite as overdriven again for that part. These are other players other than Eddie that was playing, Steve Lukather and uh, Paul Jackson was the other guitar player. I'm pretty sure that played on this one. And um, their guitar tones are not like Eddie's, so they're more toned down. They're studio players. They don't have as much overdrive as a rule. Studio players don't play with a lot of overdrive. Um, so with that being said, 
this guitar part is a separate guitar part and what I've done is I've meshed the two because chances are you're not recording this you are playing this live and or you're wanting to play this live and so this is a nice mesh of the two otherwise you're just gonna go And another guitar is just going. Um, or something like that. I can hear two guitar parts. With that being said, we have to assimilate some of this stuff into one guitar part. Otherwise, you're going to need to be three people at once. And I know you're not that. So we need to say, well, what's, what's our ear hearing that's really coming across the mix to play? And that's what I'm hearing here is. So. Uh, the second part of this, because I've played this live with, with a band, and, and what I would do is the second round I would go. Okay, so, and the reason that I'm doing that is right we're, we're stealing a little bit from that first go around and if we add the second part we get that okay so let me show you what this little part is it's all on the fourth and fifth strings and I'm in the fourth position first fingers behind the fourth fret and you're gonna play five seven on the fifth string and fourth fret on the fourth string so that's easy enough you're just going up and back down so the riff nice and slow is So now, it's literally the verse. Super easy. I told you, there's only really three basic parts to this. I've shown you all three of them, okay? We've got the main riff in the beginning. We've got the... And we have the verse. So you technically know the whole song, with the exception of the solo. And the other part that you're going to find at the middle of the song, right before the solo begins, and at the end of the song, if you've ever listened that far, is this, I mean, after the solo, what else is there, right? <laughs> so there's this one part right before the solo. You're just flanking away on that low E string. That's it. It, okay? See, is there anything else? I don't believe there is, my friends. This is a short one, okay? The solo now is a whole nother story. That's the part two of this. So check that out. It'll probably be an associated link or we'll, maybe we'll put the link actually in the description of this video so that you can check it out, okay? My friends, have I helped you today? If I have, please smash that like button. Leave a comment below. Are you playing something different? Do you think that I suck? Do you think... Do you like what I'm doing? I don't care. Leave those comments below because I want to hear what you have to say and I want to help you. I truly do. Let me know how I can do it. I love teaching guitar. I love helping people to play guitar. So let me know what I can do to help you. We have an incredible new updated ebook that you're going to find at yourguitarsage.com. Go get that for free. It has a ton of major good stuff in it without the stuff you don't need. And I have a free course for you at yourguitarsage.com slash 30. You're going to find the links for all that stuff below. Love you guys. Thank you so much. Please let me know how I can help. And I'll see you in the part two of this. Friends, as always, be kind to all beings. Practice your guitar. I'll see you in another video.